Welcome back. So in this video, we'll sort of continue and hopefully complete uh, getting all our asteroids instantiating and maybe take a look a little bit at the game manager. So uh, let's go back to the code. We had dealt with case three, where the asteroid stage was, um, uh, you know, the large one, it was hit by the shot, and then we created two smaller ones. And uh, we're going to sort of do the same thing because we're going to put this code on the other one as well. So I'm going to come in here and I, I'm just basically going to copy uh, right here. Whoops, I guess I didn't need to do that. Sorry, I need to put the brackets here. Okay, so let's just copy and paste this in and let's call this case two. Now what's going to happen is if this is case two, okay, so that means the asteroid is in the medium stage. Um, basically, we're going to create two more asteroids. And just to make sure, I don't think it quite matters, but I'm going to just give them different numbers, okay, three and four, and then three and four here as well. So all we're doing is that if it's in the medium stage, we're going to create two more asteroids. Now, the key thing here is, though, we're going to create the smaller asteroids okay um, so that and then we get the current velocity uh, now I said L do, do, do. let me just think about that I don't think it really matters but let's just make that an M because we can't have the same number or same value and then we have to go through here and make sure that these are M ones as well Okay, and that's just grabbing the medium-sized ones, velocity. All right. So once that is done, I think we're pretty good there. We've got case two. So let's, let's see if this works. So I'm going to save that up. Now we're going to have to go into Unity and do a couple little things. One is, let us... Uh, bring in the medium sized one just to make sure we can sort of put a few things on here so i'm going to bring that in and i'm going to make sure so it should have all the stuff we need to put on the script though so asteroid script and what i'm going to do is set its asteroid stage to two and then make sure um, in our prefabs i've got asteroid M in there. I might as well put S because that one definitely is going to need to the S. We won't worry about the audio yet. Okay, so we've got that one. We might as well drag the small one in as well while we're at it. And we will put the script on that one too. And set its stage to one. Now we haven't done the coding for that yet, but that's okay. And I think we should be good. So just make sure um, on the M here, we apply the override. So that makes the original, the prefab as well. And then make sure on the small as well that we add the override, apply all. I don't think the L, I guess just make sure that that's all there too. Okay, now asteroid L, let's just take a look at this too. We probably don't need asteroid S on there but it probably doesn't hurt to put it on. Okay, and just double checking. So let's just override that. And M, so we've got those on there, and S. So S, again, we probably don't need them, but we'll just put them on there as well. And so let's just override that too. Okay. I'm going to get rid of these two guys and let's just see if we can go through the two stages at least. Okay, so we're going to instantiate their one. There it goes. That's a nice quick one. Do, do, do. Ah, my, <laughs> my, my guy's a little bit slow. Okay, now we still don't have him obviously colliding with us yet. That's something else that we're going to have to look at too. Do, oh, Mr. Fleming. Okay. I should have played a little bit more with the these shots. Okay, there we go. 
So there, and, and it seemed to split. Now we've got a bit of a speed maybe issue there. So you might want to play around with the numbers. Now the small ones aren't destroying yet, but they are wrapping. Okay, so let's get those small ones destroying as well. And so we'll go back to our cases here. And so this time we don't have to put everything in here because case uh, one. So if it's case one, what did I say here? Basically, I think we're just going to, well, we're going to make a call to the game manager as well. Okay, oops. So game manager. That score, we need to do that as well. And I think we'll get the game manager to play the sounds too, now that I think about it a little bit more. Um, and what else did we need to do here? Uh, basically, yeah, just destroy it. Destroy the game object. And, whoops, got the wrong side. There we go. And then just make sure you put your break in. Now, with this as well, just to sort of talk about, a def you can have a default one, um, which means if it doesn't match any of these, then you could sort of like print out a little bit of an error or something like that. So I'm going to just do a debug.log and then just write in error with, um, I guess, uh, asteroid, asteroid uh, uh, destruction, just so that I know that if for some reason one of these isn't working it can give me a little bit of a, a, a help okay and then just put a default uh, a break on that as well so you can always have a default one there um, and that just helps with you know working out any any issues okay let me clean this up a little bit there we go okay so let's make sure that we're getting um, all this to work so we should have our large one makes our smaller ones or medium sized ones, I should say, and then our medium ones uh, make our small ones, and then the small ones just disappear. So let's take a look at that. Okay. I'm going to get to there. Okay, good. It broke. Oh, you see, I think I, I, I hit. The other one as well so that seems to be oh yeah I just want to try this again but those seem to be working reasonably well good yeah so that seems to be working reasonably well let me just try again because I thought something weird happened but maybe I just didn't hit it the first time those are going to go off. It's going to come back through here. Ah, miss. <laughs> Obviously, my speed is too slow. No, okay, there we go. So, yep, yep, that looks pretty good. The speed's not too bad. I mean, I maybe want to play test it a little bit more. But there, I got those two. I think I hit them both at the same time, so. Hmm, <laughs> Oh, okay, that's working. I'll just wait for this guy to come back this way. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing here. Okay, there we go. Good. They all disappeared. Perfect. Now, um, like I said, what we need to do is a game manager as well. So let's just get that going because then we can we can kind of get a few things on there. So I'm going to create... Um, an empty and our good old game manager and just uh, I would reset its position that's okay good and we'll create our new script and we will call this game manager so we're gonna do a few things on the game manager I mean maybe at the moment let's just get um, the the score I think that would be the easiest let's make sure I've got it here so let's just open this guy up um, so at the start we'll create a few things and we won't deal with the sound quite yet let's just get the score 
Um, so we're going to need lives at some point, and we're going to need the score as well. So those are the two things that we need to take care of. And public will make these the text here. So I'll just put the lives text and whoops. Ah, of course, it said text alignment because what did I forget? Using Unity Engine dot UI. Good. And so now I can change that back to text and no problems. Good. And public text and score text. Okay. So that should be pretty good. Um, let's, well, like I said, we'll leave the sound and stuff till later, but uh, just to get a score going here. So at the start, um, I'm just going to set the lives to three. That's, I think, the typical one. And the score will set to zero at the start. So pretty straightforward. And I'm going to create a, um, a function. So it's not going to do this right at the moment. It's going to say, I'm going to call it update score and lives. So it's simply going to be something that will refresh either the score or the lives. So let's create that function, update score and lives. And all I'm going to do is refresh the, um, text whoops what did i forget here i forgot to put a void in front of it. void okay there we go so um this is simply going to be uh the score text dot text will equal the score dot to string right very simple and then the lives text dot text i'll simply set the lives dot to string Okay, so we've got those set up. Now, the other thing that we're going to do um, is basically add the points. Okay, now with the points there, um, I'm going to do a couple little things. One is that, uh, so I'm going to make a public void add, I'll just call it add score. I think that's easiest. I'm going to make it so that you can change the amount of score and we'll call that points, I guess. How many points you're going to get. So it might be five points, it might be 10 points, whatever. Um, and so, do, 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 do. So what I'm going to do here is score plus equals points. And then we're going to update. We're going to run that update score and lives function. Okay, so that's basically it for now. I think we're okay. I'll save it. Just check my time here. Okay, I think we'll be able to get the, I'm just gonna get the uh, text on here. So I'm just gonna put a simple little text. Uh, UI text. And I'll just call this, uh, we'll just call this score text for the moment. And just for quickness here, I'm just going to put it to the top. Uh, so shift and alt and I don't know why it's taking its time here. Shift and alt. There we go. Okay. And then uh, maybe just a little bit to the left. That a little bit down. And maybe just change that to white so I can actually see it. Okay, that's good. We can play around with the size there. So just onto my game manager, um, add my game manager script. So I'll just put on the score text for now. And I think that's all I'll be able to do here. So we'll leave the making sure that that works for the next video. And then maybe we'll, we'll deal with the lives as well, where we'll destroy the player uh, when it hits, is hit by this and uh, see how that goes.